Hi, this is Alvin with kickstartcommerce.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to auto publish your post to Facebook. And so let's get started. Today I won't be using kickstartcommerce.com's uh, website per se, but I will uh, use another one of my test sites. It's essentially a WordPress site. And so uh, let's just let's jump right in and get started. So go ahead and log in to your admin. And I'll log in here. I'm using a WordPress site that's hosted by um, InMotion Hosting. And so I tend to use InMotion Hosting for a variety of my uh, secondary or side project uh, websites and tutorial sites. Um, it's reliable, it's quick, and uh, like I said, it's pretty pretty fast. And so in comparison to a GoDaddy or HostGator or even Bluehost, it's quite comparable. So uh, it's something that you might want to look into. Uh, nevertheless, uh, let's go ahead and jump into plugins. And we're going to add a new plugin. And the plugin that you're looking for is called Facebook Auto Publish. Let's go ahead and type that in to the search. And so this is the plugin there, uh, Facebook Auto Publish. It's by xyzscripts.com. Go ahead and install that. And it installed successfully. Go ahead and activate the plugin. Plugins now activated. Now, since the plugin is activated, it will appear in the plugins, as you can see here as well as now you have a settings area here on the left hand menu and it is obviously published I mean um, obviously you see it is published as Facebook auto publish and so we can just go in and click the settings and so what you'll have to do is create a Facebook application so if you're not familiar with that they do provide you with the link so go ahead and open that into a uh, another window and it takes you to the XYZ scripts products documentation page so to create a new Facebook application it gives you instructions here that you can walk through and so we'll go ahead and, and walk through and there are a few applications that I have there um, so we'll set up a website Let's click the icon there And so you can you can choose an existing app or type the new app. I'm just going to type KSC com test create new Facebook ID. It says, is this a test version of another app? The answer is no. Um, you can always put in a contact email. Choose a category. Let's see, what do we have here? Let's see. We'll just put business. This is create. And then it's basically what this is trying to make sure is that you're not a bot. And so you have to click all the pictures that have flowers or whatever it indicates for you. And so it'll give you um, basically the setup, the Facebook SDK for JavaScript, um, as well as your app configuration. So I just scroll down to the bottom. Go ahead and get started here. Start um, test. Next. Then it'll say test that application or integration, and then obviously you're finished so that being said so you go well great but now what so how do you get to your apps so you go back there you can just click my apps and it'll take you back and then there's the app so here's your application ID so we copy that 
and we jump back into um, the Facebook application ID. We'll paste that there and we go back to your app and you'll need to go inside your app. And then essentially what you'll need to do is create or show the application secret. Close out of there. So we'll just click show. And of course it's going to ask for well, wrong password. Ask for my password. Man. There we go. Right password. So you'll copy the app secret and you'll paste it there. And then it says now uh, for the message format of the posting, um, typically what I want is just the post title. Uh, you can, you know, you can type in and pretty much as you select those, it drops it into this box. I didn't really need to add post title because post title was already here. And so, um, what I like to do is just put, put this new post, change the text around a little bit. And I want the blog title there, or I can just go remove that. I just only want the blog title. And then if you wanted the content in there, you could space it out and put content just like that. Um, and then posting method, uh, share a link um, to your blog post. And that's all we really want to do. And then it says um, enable auto publish to post to my Facebook account. Yes. And then so go ahead and click save. Okay, so now you have other basic settings. So you can publish WordPress pages to Facebook, which I have to be no. You can publish WordPress posts to Facebook, which is yes. And then it says select post categories for auto publish all, or you can select specific. Um, select WordPress co custom post types uh, for auto publish, um, not applicable. And then most of these others, uh, let's see here. Default selection of auto posts while editing posts. So this you want to make sure to set to no. So let's just say you posted a uh, WordPress post and it's posted, it's live to your website. And then, you know, let's say maybe a few hours later, you notice, oh man, I had a typo. So you'll go in, you can replace the typo, click update. If this were set to yes, it would actually go out and update your Facebook page again with the same content. Um, I select no only because I don't want duplicate uh, post hitting Facebook. So that being said, um, most of these others I just leave as they are and click update settings and then now, what you'll notice is here, it says application needs to be authorized. Um, and so that's after everything has been set. So you'll need to authorize the application. So click authorize, takes it there. Uh, submit for login review. Some permissions below have not been approved for use by Facebook. Submit for review now or learn more. Um, just go ahead and click OK. Correct. Okay. Okay. And now we're ready to go back and use it. Now here's the thing. You'll need to come down here and when you've authorized it, now before we didn't have this box, select Facebook pages for auto publish. So now we do. So essentially there's our page kickstart com test and we'll select that and we'll save it all right so everything's now saved so now let's go ahead and we'll create a post and we'll call this post auto auto publish wp to facebook page 
we'll just say this is a test to publish to to publish from WP to Facebook page and before we publish this um, there's the Facebook auto publish box here and you can change those settings you can override your um, you can override your default settings with whatever you choose or select there I'm just going to leave it as the default settings for now and let's see here we'll just put it out for another minute we go publish All right, so now if we go to our website, now we can see that our most recent post, auto publish WP to Facebook page, it is published to our website. So it is live, it's published. And so now if we head over to not the app, uh, but let's go to the actual Facebook page. And I'll just refresh this page. There's our post. And we'll close that out. There's a post. And so you see there it says new post. It has the um, title and then it has the content. And obviously there, if you had fans and whatnot, they would be able to see it. Um, also, you can actually boost um, that with a little Facebook PPC. But other than that, I mean, it's pretty easy. So I, I recommend using this um, plugin, Facebook Auto Publish. Uh, I've not had any issues or problems with it. Um, and it saves me a lot of time from having to wait for a post to go live, go copy the post, go paste it into uh, the Facebook fan page. Um, this plugin does it all for you. So basically all you have to do is write your post and then set it to be scheduled. Once it's scheduled, then your post is automatically posted, not only to your website, uh, your WordPress website, but it's also published to Facebook. And so, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Like I said, I encourage you to use this as a way to build traffic to your website uh, and work smarter and not necessarily harder. So that said, definitely feel free to drop by kickstartcommerce.com uh, to check out other tutorials and just um, domain and SEO insight. So I appreciate it. And let me know if you have any questions about the tutorial. Thanks.